How's it, Jack Jacktackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I wanted to kind of give my thoughts on the new trailer for The Flash movie, and also kind of give my thoughts on the reaction, some of the things that the fans and critics are saying about the movie so far. Now, there isn't a Rotten Tomato score yet or anything, but there was a screening at, I believe, CinemaCon in Las Vegas, which is actually where I live, and I wish I could have gone to CinemaCon because a lot of cool people were there and a lot of cool stuff was being announced. But I think it kind of had to be, like, important to get into it. But that's a sidetrack. I, I don't need to get into all that. Basically, I do want to talk about the trailer first and then we'll kind of talk about the reactions and things that people are saying about it. But overall, my general thoughts on this trailer, I thought it was all right. And uh, I'm still kind of just overall conflicted about this movie. I feel like I should be way more excited for it than I am. And, you know, a few years ago when this movie was announced, <laughs> it was announced a long, long time ago, but I've been waiting for this movie for such a long time, and some of the things that they were saying about it, and some of the characters that were going to be in it, you know, Ben Affleck's Batman returning. Obviously, that's pretty intriguing, and we get to see Michael Keaton's Batman a bunch in this film. And I'm a huge fan of Michael Keaton's Batman and his movies. I love Batman 89, and I love Batman Returns. So, in theory, I should be really excited for this movie, but I don't know. It just kind of feels like it's all over the place, and this trailer kind of gave me whiplash in a lot of ways. Uh, I think certain scenes look cool. You know, a lot of the uh, lightning effects and stuff like that on The Flash actually look pretty decent. Um, there's some moments of the CGI kind of looking a little wonky, in my opinion. It doesn't look great in certain spots, but then there are some people online saying that, you know, actually the digital effects aren't even done yet, so I guess that could be something that uh, we need to take note of. They're not really completed, so we kind of need to uh, not really complain about them too much, and I believe the screening that the people saw at CinemaCon wasn't actually with completed VFX either, so that's kind of interesting to note. So some of the reactions are going to be maybe a bit different from when they actually end up do seeing it in like a real cinema. So, uh, but you know, overall, I think it's kind of intriguing, this movie. I'll definitely be checking it out, of course. I just have, like, again, I have like some whiplash because I'm just so conflicted. I'm not sure what's, uh, what's going to be occurring in this movie because I feel like there are so many things going on, so many characters, and it kind of feels like, obviously, a clashing of worlds worlds collide so to speak as they as they put it in all the promotional material that they've been putting out for this movie and you know there's that whole Ezra Miller controversy I don't know how to feel about all that actually I do know how to feel about all that what Ezra Miller's done is uh not very good at all but uh yeah it's just it's rough man I, I don't know but, you know, that's just kind of my general thoughts on this movie. I'll, again, definitely be checking it out, as I'm sure most of you will as well. But in terms of, like, some of the actual things people are saying about this movie, it's relatively surprising. Or is it? Because Warner Brothers wants to push out this movie and promote the hell out of it. They want to show that this might actually be a pretty great movie, guys. They want you to obviously see the film, and it's clear they've put a lot of work into it. And, uh, obviously, Andy Muschietti, the director... There's been a lot of stuff surrounding this movie, and there's been a lot of trials and tribulations, so to speak. So they want people to check this movie out. DC is at a very interesting spot right now. Of course, we've already known this for some time, that DC has had some troubles. But, um, you know, in terms of what fans are actually saying, the people who screened this movie and uh, ended up seeing it at CinemaCon, they're claiming it's one of the best superhero movies they've ever seen. Granted, I have not seen the movie. I understand that I can't necessarily form my own opinion on the film yet. I understand that, but I still wanted to make this video nonetheless just to kind of start a conversation down in the comments, to be honest, just to see where your guys' heads are at at this moment. Because what in the hell do you guys think about that? People saying that this could be one of the best superhero movies of all time and that people are saying it's really great. Now, a lot of things I've seen online... People talking about, specifically with this movie, they're saying that there's some really great action in this movie. It's very entertaining. It's also very funny, which we do see in certain moments in the trailer. The, the humor, I mean, look, man, it's all right. It's not great humor. Uh, it does kind of remind me of something the MCU has gone for in the past with its kind of tone. And I do kind of wonder if DC is kind of becoming the new Marvel and they're trying too hard to kind of compete with them. Obviously, with James Gunn coming aboard, he had nothing to really do with this movie, but James Gunn has said he really enjoyed it. I think Tom Cruise has even said that this movie's pretty good, which is bonkers, the fact that Tom Cruise has said he really enjoyed it. 
But, uh, you know, Tom Cruise is an interesting dude, but that's, again, sidetracked. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I think that's just kind of interesting that he said he enjoyed the movie. But a lot of people are also mentioning, apart from the humor, that this movie has a lot of emotional moments. It's very heartfelt. And uh, I think that's kind of interesting as well. I mean, it makes sense because of the subject matter and the general story. Barry, you know, wanting to go back in time and save his mother. This is the Flashpoint storyline. A very different kind of way of telling the Flashpoint storyline with all these characters coming together. You know, Michael Keaton's Batman. We have Ben Affleck's Batman, obviously. General Zod, Supergirl, played by Sasha Kaye. And I think that's all interesting. And I really liked, I will say, at the end of the trailer where they showed all the logos, all the symbols of the superheroes. You saw Batflex logo. You saw Michael Keaton's Batman logo. And then you saw, of course, House of L symbol there, uh, the crest. And uh, then you obviously got to see the Flash's symbol, which is pretty dope. Now, I really enjoyed that. I really thought that kind of was a good way to build hype, showing all these logos. Like, it really was like an event, a world-ending event. Here's the problem, though, as I'm sure most people have already discussed and noticed. The problem with this is that there wasn't really a clear trajectory of this universe up until this point. Like, this is supposed to be, like, a big deal. It's going to kind of reboot the DC universe and leading into kind of chapter one of the DCU with James Gunn's DC Slate. And, you know, it's supposed to reboot stuff. But I don't think it's done a great job at kind of making it feel that way just because of all the past movies we've seen. And I don't, like, care that much. I mean, if it's supposed to be almost like an Avengers Endgame type of level event with all these heroes coming together, and um, in many ways, it's almost like a weird Justice League movie. It kind of is. You know, we got a Kryptonian on our side. We have a Batman. We have a Flash. You know, it's it's almost like a weird hodgepodge Justice League movie, which is what had been rumored for a while, kind of. Uh, I remember when this was announced that there was going to be kind of other heroes throughout the multiverse coming together in this movie, and we are seeing that. But nonetheless, these are just kind of my rambling thoughts on it, and the fan reactions are very interesting, and I think a lot of it comes down to the fact that Warner Brothers is kind of, I don't want to say forcing these people to say all these positive things about it. But I mean, if you were at CinemaCon, chances are Warner Brothers probably forced you to say these things to a degree. I mean, I feel like they wouldn't say, it's totally fine, you can form your own opinion. Because then I'm sure these people and these influencers would be like, you know, out of a job, basically. They're supposed to say these positive things. But who knows, guys? I will remain open-minded. However... I don't know for how much longer. Uh, I'm very worried, I'm going to say. Like, I'm just conflicted. Sometimes I'm like, this movie looks awful. You know, I've said that on Twitter. And then sometimes I'm like, well, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Which I always will give movies the benefit of the doubt until I see them. And I'll definitely be checking it out. But I don't know. These are just my thoughts. And uh, this will probably be like the last Flash video I make unless they make another trailer. Um, but yeah, they probably will put out another, another trailer. And we'll see... Maybe each trailer I'll make another video talking about this movie. And then, of course, once it comes out, I'll make my actual review. But there you guys go. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about, kind of start a conversation down in the comments. What do you guys think about all this, like the fan reactions and everything people are saying about this movie so far? Also, what did you think about the new trailer? Did you guys like it? Uh, let me hear your favorite part about it or uh, what you're excited to see in this movie. All that jibber-jabber down in the comments. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, check out my Letterboxd and Twitter down in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.